Welcome to uh, DTV. We've got uh, Jade Rawlings with us, who's just joined the club as uh, the backline coach. And uh, first of all, Jade, uh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much, Matt. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting to be involved with Melbourne. Uh, really enjoyed my dealings with Mark Neal so far and, and all the other staff. Uh, they've been, you know, I've been speaking to a few people in my last week or so when I've been dealing with the club. And yeah, the enthusiasm and professionalism, something's definitely caught my attention. So I'm very keen to get involved. Yeah. Uh, decorated career with uh, Hawthorne and the Western Bulldogs and then uh, you were Richmond senior coach briefly when, when that came about a couple of years ago and then you moved to Brisbane Lions. Um, had a really good football journey. Um, can you just sort of touch on your experiences so far? Yeah, well, Brisbane was really good. I had two great years up there and I really enjoyed working with the coaching group and the players and it was a big move for us, the family. We were yeah. pretty well entrenched in Melbourne prior to that and yeah, after the Richmond experience, which is also something I really enjoyed. So from a coaching perspective, yeah, two years at Brisbane, uh, Richmond assistant coach, I also coached Coburg for a couple of years in the VFL. So starting to gather a little bit of experience, yeah, and I really enjoy what I do. So um, as I said, I really enjoyed my dealings with Mark Neal so far, and he has high-level enthusiasm and professionalism and expectations, so it's something I'm really keen to work alongside. Yeah. How do you sort of look on your time as a Coburg coach and Richmond coach, then going back as an assistant um, for, to a non-Victorian club and now to Melbourne, how do you sort of see your coaching journey and how you've evolved as a, as a coach? Yeah, well, it's significantly different, the football culture in Queensland, full stop. Like, you know, VFL, there's a lot of passion from Coburg's uh, perspective and, and the competition itself. And, yeah, to be fortunate enough to coach AFL for 11 weeks, it was, it was full on and really enjoyed it. So to come out of that and move to a non-footy state was a good challenge, but one I thoroughly enjoyed. It wasn't overly successful as far as wins and losses but I definitely feel as though I'm a better footy person from my time in Brisbane and yeah, leave there with a lot of good friends and good experiences which I think will serve me well in the future. Yeah. And you'll be looking after the uh, the defence here, um, what do you think you'll you'll bring to that as a group? Um, I suppose that'll be for them to answer as to what they get out of me, I find it hard to say what I'm going to yeah. bring but one thing I'm very passionate about what I do, I've, I've watched the Melbourne back line quite closely a few times and I think there's some real, the, the previous coaches have done a good job with them because there's some real talent and some um, players there are going to have good long sustainable careers so I think I walk into a group that have understand what it takes to be defender at elite level and obviously going to work closely with what Mark's expectations are of that area but yeah I, I'm, I'm passionate and I'm, I'm pretty full on about my footy and i give everything of myself to the job so I think the players will know me pretty well and know what I stand for so from there I suppose the proof will be in how they perform. Yeah. Probably like Mark uh, the other week it's probably been a bit of a whirlwind period for you I mean you, you've been based in Queensland now back in Melbourne uh, you're probably having to move a bit um, uh, how's it been the last sort of few days? Yeah well I've just had the last four or five days in Melbourne and yeah it's sort of I find it hard when you're temporary accommodation out at my brother's house and don't have a car down here and all that. But yeah, that's all. That'll all be taken care of, and within a couple of weeks, I'll be permanently based down here and get back into the groove of it pretty easily. I would have thought, and the family will be back down by middle or late November, so we'll be fairly well settled by the end of November. We get to move back into the house that we left behind, so all that stuff yeah. should be pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, Melbourne connection. Do you have many with any of the players or, or coaching uh, guys here? Yeah, there's uh, quite a few people like Chris Conley, who was my reserves coach at Hawthorne for many years and, and also an assistant coach. So I've got no Todd Viney reasonably well over the time. I did a coach's course with Josh Marnie. Uh, yeah, uh, Tim Harrington was there at North Melbourne when I was there. Yeah. Barry Prendergast was at Werribee when I was aligned yeah. to Werribee through the Bulldogs. So there's quite a few people that I've yeah. had association with through Melbourne in the past. So uh, Cameron Schwab I've met a few times as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it a bit easier when you walk into a place with some familiar faces straight away. Well, it's uh, fantastic to have you on board, Jade, and uh, best luck for, for next year in the future, and uh, good luck with the move over the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, thanks very much, mate. Yeah, thanks.